There's one neighborhood in Santa Monica, California, that's so dangerous the Postal Service will not deliver mail. Larry Elder joins me now. All right, Larry, big picture question to start with. How do you restore a sense of order in lawless Southern California? You know, Stu, for years you've asked me, when will Californians begin to rethink some of their crazy assumptions, yep. uh, most notably the soft on crime attitude? Uh, and I've told you a million times, it will be when uh, the crime hits the suburbs. Santa Monica has a household income twice that of the average Californian. This is now coming home. Uh, recently, a woman, UCLA graduate student, was stabbed to death in Hancock Park, for crying out loud. That's the Tony area uh, of L.A., where Maxine Waters has $5 million mansion. And a few weeks earlier, a Motown mogul uh, who's retired, 80 years old, 80 year old wife, a man broke into the house, and by the way, they have security on site and uh, murdered her. Uh, and he was, he was a long career cr criminal out on the streets, shouldn't have been out on the streets. And the man that murdered the UCLA graduate student uh, was a mentally ill homeless guy with also a very long criminal record. So it's now starting to hit home. Some of these very elite people that have been giving money to people like Gavin Newsom and supporting people like the soft on crime L.A. County D.A. George Gascon are now rethinking their assumptions big time. Uh, uh, talk about crazy ideas. Uh, I know there's a proposal in California for a four-day work week, 32 hours, that's it. And you've got to pay overtime if you work for more than 32 hours. I think that's a crazy idea. What say you? It's insane. And not only that, they're reducing the 40-hour work week, th the 30, 32 hours, but making employers still pay you worth 40 hours. So you can't even cut their salaries because their hours are now being cut down. Why don't you just ask people to leave California? Just ask business people to leave. Why don't you just do that? Uh, 300,000 people have left California the last couple of years. We can't get enough U-Haul trucks to get people who want to go to Tennessee, Texas, Florida, and other more rational areas. It's absolutely insane. I, I just got to get this in. California's first in the nation's reparations task force meets today, first time in San Francisco. What do you make of a reparations panel? You know, reparations is the extraction of money from people who are never slave owners to be given to people who are never slaves. A. B. Why should anybody other than the Democratic Party play reparations? If you look at the 400,000 slave owners, according to the census in 1860, all but maybe 10 or 12 were Democrats. So why should Republicans or anybody other than a Democrat pay one dime worth of reparations? More Republicans voted for the Civil Rights Act of 64 by percentage than did Democrats. It's Democrats that ought to be paying reparations if anybody should. But the whole idea of course is insane. 150 years ago, uh, and people living right now should pay for something that was done by other people. It's, it's uh, again, only in California. Yes, <laughs> only in California. It'll never change. Larry Elder, great to see you again. Come and see us again soon. Thanks a lot. You too.